Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I've got, um, I've got, <laughs> I've got Jack's for Dice Tutor to, uh, Duel, uh, aka Yugi's Grandpa. Uh, already edited my deck, uh, to get within the, uh, correct deck cost, so here we go. I am Jasper Dice Tutor. I will show you the true meaning of power. Oh, will you? He does have Exodia, and this is really hard because there's only two ways to get to him. He goes up into the uh, dark um, field, and so he just kind of camps out there trying to draw out Exodia. That's a bit of a cheap move, uh, but I don't really... it doesn't really bother me. Um... I guess. No, I'm going to send Acid Trap Hold that way. I'm going to go this way. Hopefully this works out. He, Yeah, he's going to play something here, which is okay. I don't real, I don't see the computer do that often, where they'll just knock out their own cards. <laughs> Let's move. Carry your Fairy King Truesdale. Okay, I'm going to have to just wipe out this hand. Let's go about it this way. Okay, well they're gonna fuse, then Killer Needle's gonna get rid of them. <laughs> so Killer Needle is moving up to attack. This should be interesting. Moving Acid Trap that way. I'm interested to see what card that is. Yeah, here we go. He's moving up. He usually, usually when I duel him, he can get two or three of the Exodia pieces. He never gets them all, which I actually think, I don't know, if I was gonna lose, that's how I'd wanna lose. Okay, Aqua Dragon. Okay, we're going Aqua Dragon. Get rid of you. Wait, what's her effect? The defense position, all light monsters are reduced. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Uh, I want. Yeah, I want to get rid of Typhon. Don't nobody fuse. Don't fuse with Typhon. I'd be pissed. Okay, we're moving. We're 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 getting ground here. Sometimes I can't draw a monster that's strong enough, and he'll put out something that's just. It's just dumb, and I can't do anything about it. If this monster is stronger than Aqua Dragon, we may be in trouble early. So there's Aqua Dragon. Let's see here. What do we draw out? Okay, I'm just going to throw a Cyber Shield down, and I'm going to start moving. Um, okay, I'll move Cyber Shield, but this will get interesting if I can't draw anything, because then I'm going to have to deal with Cyber Shield in between Aqua Dragon and another monster. Hopefully I can ca or cause draw Rose Spectre of Dunn, maybe? No. So I'm just going to ditch my whole hand. I'm going to throw it down. Actually, I'm going to throw down Dragon Seeker back here and send him that way just in case something comes up and I have to I have to have something headed that way. If Acid Trap... Move Aqua, move Cyber Shield, and move myself. So here we go. We're moving it. This is pretty quick. This is actually the fastest probably that I've ever uh, moved in at him. I'm interested to see that, why he didn't attack. It's either got to be a trap. It's probably Mesmeric Control. That's my guess on what that is. That's all I can think that could be. I'm gonna have to. I have to attack it. I don't have a ch okay. And I'm spellbound. Whoa, one turn spellbound. God, that's so annoying. I hate getting spellbound. Okay, move acid trap. If though I don't know, some I can't tell if that's four exodia or like three exodia pieces or just three cards. You can never tell. I could check his graveyard, but I don't know why he would throw away an exodia piece. Go there with Acid Trap. Dragon Seeker is lacking a little, or slacking a little bit behind here. Um, f this man! I can't draw Rose Specter of Dunn. I have all the cards to make her a monster, but I can't draw. Her. So, consequently, I can't do anything for the time being because he's just gonna leave Curtain, whatever his face is, in attack position. Okay. Interesting play. Interesting play, Jasper. Please don't get Exodia. Okay, just desserts. That's going to do a crap ton of damage. How much it do? 1,500? 
He hits you with those cards too. There she is. There's Rose Spectre of Dunn. I'm going to take out Crazy Fish because I have to get to that Cyber Shield. So here we go. We're about to just answer the damage right back with uh, Aqua Dragon. I'm going to do 2150. So that's a very nice answer to his 1500 damage. Bam. Curtain of the Dark is down. Please don't spell behind me again. Okay, there we go. Move Cyber Shield up. Next turn, we'll summon Rose Spectre of Dunn, uh, and she'll have 3,500 attack, which is just insane. Da -da 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 -da. No Exodia yet. Okay, let me move up. Move Aqua Dragon to attack, and he is spellbound. Of course, Aqua Dragon. Why would I want it any other way? Let's see here. She can be powered up by vile germs, right? Yep. Okay, so here we go. I'm about to have one seriously powered up Rose Spectre of Dunn. So if something actually can take out my uh, Aqua Dragon, Rose Spectre of Dunn will be there to uh, put them down. Move an Acid Trap hole up. Usually I like to have a monster moving up that other side, but I guess Acid Trap hole will do. Da da. Please, no Exodia. Really, he's going to leave Phantom Dweller in a tank? Okay, three turns. Are you kidding me? I might just take my opportunity and... Um, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to just take out my Aqua Dragon or if I want to actually attempt something here. Three turns is a long stalling period for him to try to draw out Exodia. He's already down to 25 cards left in his deck. Uh, so this should get interesting. If he... Um, let's do that. If I... If I play Barrel Dragon there and attack, will that win the duel for me? I think it will. So I'll get rid of Aqua. And I'll summon Barrel. Yeah, that'll do it for me. And it's going to take out that card, which that's no biggie. But Barrel Dragon and the duel right here. There we go. I didn't even think about that, summoning Barrel Dragon. Uh, so that's going to do it. He didn't get the chance to summon Exodia. That's good. And took care of him quickly. That's what you have to do with Jasper. Yeah, Barrel Dragon has a pretty sweet attack, so I want to watch this. Pretty nasty. Boom. Just sit that boy down. GG, Jasper. There's a 21 damage. 2100 damage. And Barrel Dragon ends that duel. I think if Barrel Dragon were to get a promotion, I might use him as my deck leader. Uh, he just looks cool. I just like Barrel Dragon. Let's see here. What do I... What, what, he's got crap. Okay, I totally messed that up. And I messed that up, too. I was trying to get the Three Witches Apprentices, but I hit the button on accident. I was trying to... I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't trying to hit the button, <laughs> and I just accidentally tapped it. But no big deal. So there we go, taking out Jasper Dice Tutor. You may have beaten me, but I doubt you'll survive a duel with my nephew, Yugi. I don't know why he's... he's, he's, he's it's his grandpa in the TV show, and like every other game, so I have no idea. But there is Rose card number... what is that? Six? Rose card number six. And next, uh, the final step before Yugi is Bakura. And he's a tree. 757 deck caused. He's got a whole lot of crush. It's just not a fun duel. And so that's going to be our next episode. So get ready for a very interesting duel with Bakura. And then we'll have a huge face-off with Yugi um, where I attempt to get a Dark Magician and then turn that one Dark Magician into a Dark Magician girl. Uh, so, that'll be in the next episode. I hope you guys, well, this will be in the next episode, and then that'll be in the episode after. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all later. Peace out, guys.